During the summer of 2023, we moved to a remote Scottish Hebridean island to be its only two residents along with our two pet sheep and pair of cats. These remote islands seem to retain an old-fashioned rhythm and a charm which we find encouraging us to live a more frugal and simple life, the way man was perhaps more intended to. We have an ancient stone cottage to restore, veggies to grow, livestock to build up, fish to catch and smoke, a boat to buy, and much more. Step back in time with us at the Scottish Isle. Did you not say you were over here yesterday? I was over here yesterday. Came down across the top of uh, the mainland there. It's quite high when you look at it, isn't it? Yeah, that's... I think right, that's where I came down. But, uh, yeah, I didn't think that we'd uh, come back the following day. Well, that's a significant old township along here, apparently, and been uh, meaning to explore it for for a while. We, co we got told to wait till the bracken died right down so that you can see it all properly. Don't you mean fan? No. This stuff is uh, hard to walk to over, walk isn't, on, it? isn't it? It really is. Ankle breaker. Take your time. I should have brought a stick. Here, use that one. Seaweed. I want to have a look at this quartz. It's around here. That's the biggest bit of quartz I've ever seen. Wow. It's huge, isn't it? Yeah. So is there a pathway where you're walking around? Well, not so much a pathway, but you can pick your way through it. Says the woman with the stick. Hopefully the microphone's picking up that sound. It sounds like a transistor radio that hasn't been tuned. But it's coming from underneath the rocks. I don't know if this is the way. Uh, uh. got a bit stuck not because of the terrain but because the land just over there is now all fenced off however I came up this hill to see if I could find any way in and bang in the center of the screen now there's like a turnstile or a, what are they called those kind of steps that you step over so I think we can get in and over there because we're now starting to think that what we're looking for is just around here somewhere. Probably in all these trees below the hill. But at least we know we can get across. Hello. What did you find? boundary wall. So where's this way in? Around this way. A 
of a climb, isn't it? It's not the easiest going. What have you found? Is it lunchtime yet? Can I have my sandwich? Feels like lunchtime after all that clambering about. But you didn't make yourself a sandwich, you didn't want one. No. So you don't have a sandwich, but I do. I can see another building over there. See it in the trees. Um, so what do we think this was? House? There isn't a, a specific doorway. Not anymore. Well... It must have been here. Would they have had the doorway facing the sea? They tend to, don't they? Well, that one over there has. But this is, this is just rectangular. It's more square though. Right, well, let's go and climb the fence because surely all the good stuff's in there. Uh, are you still filming? Yes. The last one over there is an idiot. They could have made that at like any higher, could they? Good God. You're an idiot. Scott, this is a bog. Yeah, I know it's a bog. But we've got to get across it. Oh, here we go. This is fine. Oh my God, I'll tell you one thing, it stinks. I'm not doing it. Well, look at me. Right, okay, well, you can't get across there. You're gonna have to try and go around there. That's a bog as well. Well, I'm over here now. Well, you've got the sandwich. I mean, it's not that bad. It'll wash off. I don't know if you could see them, but it was too dear. That's quite a large one, that. Throughout Scotland, traditional two-roomed stone crofts are known as butt and bens, most probably deriving from the Hebrew words bet for house and ben meaning son. Homes like these were built for a newly married couple by their families and immediate community and could go up in as quick as a week. The style is generally always the same, with rounded corners and a small central door flanked by two tiny windows oftentimes with only one other even smaller window opposite the door. Small doors and windows and three foot thick walls meant that a house like this under a thatched roof would stay reasonably warm. Also taken from our origins in ancient Mesopotamia came the Highland custom that males and females often had separate quarters, taking one room each for the sake of modesty and protection. However, we know this cottage was last inhabited in the 1960s by two crofting brothers, living off their immediate environment, cutting their own peats for the fire, raising sheep and chickens. A croft house was a haven for its inhabitants and the passing traveller, the front door always open for the sake of hospitality to all. Looks like there was another window there, the back of the house. And there could possibly have been one over there as well, where it's collapsed. Mirroring what was on the front. Now what we're both looking for 
gates wandered off in the opposite direction. It was the old cemetery to this uh, settlement. I found this boundary wall. This is obviously the furthest reaches of um, this particular homestead. Goes through here. Massive, like, isn't it? I like what they've done with the place. It's huge though, isn't it? Yes. Hope the ticks aren't waking up. Of course they are. Oh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to sit on that. Mine's a bit. Well, that's just soaking wet and my trousers are drying off now. Oh, here, just on this. This doesn't mean you're getting a bit of my sandwich. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm just making sure that we've got that, you know, got understood before I sit on this. Just make sure there's nothing breakable in the pockets. Oh, never mind. Have you ever fallen over into a Scottish bog before? You, ha think. you have, haven't you? I don't know. I'm trying to think if I have. Remember when you used to go out as a kid on your bike? You'd always have like orange cordial and Cheese sandwiches. A bottle of fizzy pop and a slab of chocolate cake, like you know, Blighton would say. It's the first drink I've had since I left the house. It's not. It's not easy going this terrain nope. at all. I'm knackered. Well, this is what I keep saying to everybody when I'm going on my walks. It's uh, it's almost impossible, impassable for a human. Fine if you're a deer, but yeah, I don't, I don't really mind uh, falling in a bog. It's an anecdote, isn't it? The parties when we get the dinner parties <laughs> when we get uh, oh, invited to uh, Downton. Oh, look at the doorstep. It's like that is a proper right, out on a trek sandwich, that isn't it? It's chicken. Do you think they ate chicken sandwiches when they were here? Sitting on their own wall? Chicken wasn't invented then. When was the last time you think somebody sat in here and had a meal? I'll give you within 10 years. Either way. The last people to live in this settlement was in the 1960s. What? You've brought me to like a mid-century Scandinavian design cottage? Well, you can tell it's mid-century Scandinavian because of all the greenery. Do we know who they were? The Crafting Brothers. They lived here? Um, not necessarily in this house. This is their house? Possibly. Um, but they're standing outside the picture that we've got. Well, we haven't, fact, we haven't come across another substantial building. That one over there is not that big. This is a proper house. Well, it's the right dimensions, but do you think it would collapse this much in mm -hmm. 80 years, I suppose, it might? I do. Simply because uh, the weather. In fact, I've become a moth expert. So, hang on. Yep, 80 years. Do 
you know what my uh, professional name is? Scott's Moss. No. I'm actually known as a Moss Tickler. It's a skill. Not many of us around now. You're all right. Yep. <laughs> all these trees are young. They're all like young birch and young oak, aren't they? Mm -hmm. There's one or two dotted around that are are very old but the vast majority of them I would say like 95% of them are all <clears throat> I don't know the age of trees but that sounds like a David Attenborough series his first series of the what was it the life of plants that was just phenomenal watching. Was it Life of Mammals, not first? I don't know, I didn't watch that one. I watched The Life of Plants or whatever it was called. And that blew my mind. Why? Well, the way trees communicate with each other through their root system underground. When you see plants, growing and moving in like real time and the time lapse has speed you up gives you a whole new concept about trees etc plants this is why i hate cutting i mean I, i've cut down very few trees in my time it's like if it's a necessity to live I understand it. It's a very serious thing, taking the life of a tree. It shouldn't be taken lightly. You might think differently. <clears throat> you need to um, manage woodlands. Yeah, and I understand, but... Take out the dead wood and use the deadfall. I'm not a hippie about it. I'm like a raving hippie. What's that? Sounds like a calf. That sounded like a baby, uh, like a baby uh, cow, like a calf calling its mother. A deer. Yeah, but I've never heard a deer make that sound before. A baby deer. They haven't worn their own babies yet. I have no idea. Seems a bit early. We drink only the purest Morrison's Scottish Mountain it's sparkling never, it's water. It's not happening. There's no way that we're doing any promotional campaigns on, on the channel. It's not happening. Where'd you get your hat, by the way? Where do I get my hat? Yes, your lovely hat made from 100% tweed wool from Walker Slater in Edinburgh. Well, before I tell you this, where did you get your boots from? These are lovely Ariat mountaineering boots. Oh, are they? Where leather you, where leather you... uppers, fully uh, waterproof. Where could you buy these from? On Tinternet. On the Tinternet? Yes. How much are they? I got them cheapers. Yeah, it's not happening. There's no way. No way that we're doing any promotional campaigns. We're not, no, no. 
Right, we go in. Yes, let's go. Let's see if we can find the graveyard and then walk back to our lovely well, Kawasaki quad bike. I have a... Uh, only 5,999 RRP. Oh, hang on, hang on. It takes me a while to get up these days. Well, oh, thanks, house, for the hospitality. See if I can find the picture of the brothers standing out here with their collie dog. This is the graveyard. Scott found it. This is this is well, that's south, so that's right there. Facing east. One there, one there. That's one. That stone under there. And you can see these over here as well, maybe. Maybe maybe that one. Well, if you want my opinion. I've been going around and, test, and testing them all. They're all stone. So I think everything that's standing up with stone in this area is a, head, is a grave marker. Who knows how old these are? They've got absolutely no, no writing on them or anything, but... I mean, that one's like a dolman, isn't it? These, yeah. The way that they've been crafted. Like uh, Abraham's cave in the field, probably a dolman. But, um, I mean, these could be ancient, ancient things. This is a, this township is a, is, it has a Viking name, uh, which we'll not say, um, but there have been people here for a very, very long time. These trees have fallen on top of grave, gravestones. But we we don't have uh, any flowers, but we can tidy it up a bit. Can't pick it up, just breaks. This one's a bit of a beast, isn't it? Pivot! Pivot!
It's a bit better. These catkins. That means it's hazelnut. But we were just talking about these three little markers here. See, one, two, three. These have got to be children. Because uh, the way they're facing, there's not, not enough space between them to put an adult. That looks better, Scott. Now you can see. Gosh, this is old. It's like an old ginger beer pot or something. It's actually... It's not that old. Nah, it's not, is it? It's probably about 1970s or 60s, that. But... It's quite difficult to get out. If I had gloves on, I'd be fine. I don't want to cut my fingers. I don't know if it's... I think it's an old marmalade jar. It's been there a while. There's like tons of roots growing in it. Like a crock, isn't it? These are the roots that are in it, they're grown through it. You can see what it is without... Um, without removing it? Yeah, without taking the roots away. You yeah, see it's the, a little crock. It's a, it's a shame the bottom's gone. Yeah. Okay. But it's like an old Victorian marmalade jar or something. Yep. Yeah. Those roots have uh, those roots been through it. It's been there quite a while. Look how pink we are. Speak for yourself. You caught the sun. We're very pink. Anyway, we're we're just walking back now from the cemetery, so we're very pleased that we found that. It was hard work. Cleaned it up a wee bit because these are, you know, people's graves. They're markers, and. Uh, Respect our ancestors. So that looks better than when we arrived. Duck. <laughs> well, so, yeah. Well, we've, how long have we known about that place and been planning on coming here and trying and finding it? Before Christmas. Is it your friend up at the shop that mentioned it? Mm. Anyway, yeah, I'm I'm pleased with that. That was that was hard work, but worth the while. I'm going to see if I can find the picture of the Crofting Brothers and I can put it on the screen. See if it's the same house that we were in having a picnic. <laughs> Business time. Are you, are you thinking of getting your hair wet? I'm thinking of being able to see when I'm standing. If I was you, I'd go, I'd come across the way, I just, I just won't. I didn't hit one bit of bog. Yeah, I mean, look at that. I know, it's mad. <laughs> that, well, that's where I fell in. All right, I'm going round. Uh, chicken. <laughs> right, okay, so onto, the, onto this here. And then over to this one. Oh, nice. And then around here. On there and on there. Good grief. Yeah, don't go in there. Extreme close up.
Come on, look at this. Is this a screw top? Sauce spot. Right, ABC9. But this thought. Oh, yeah, HP sauce. Yeah, Carlton's HP sauce. <laughs> There's, a, there's, a, there's every chance that that might be 1960s. <laughs> we'll take it and we'll find out because the house is only up here, isn't it? Yeah. We'll take it and we'll find out. But yeah, can, can you see that? The, the, the Carton's HP sauce. You hold it up in the light a bit. Oh. Check it out when we get home. How is your mother? The same. The same. She's still listening to those shallot records we bought her. Well, yes, but she doesn't have a gramophone, which makes it an interesting experience. What were they? Uh, Hitler's great speeches. <laughs> That's awesome. Yep. Mother-in-law.